Hey y'all, it's me and the new chorizo bowl from Chipotle. And if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about chorizo, how does the chorizo taste? Is the chorizo good? Would I purchase the chorizo again? Please stay tuned. All right, so as you already know, Chipotle has a new chorizo meat. And this meat is a plant-based meat. So those of us who are now new vegans here for 2022, we are doing that vegan thing. You can go ahead and get this. Now, Chipotle already had the sofritas and I really enjoyed eating the sofritas. I thought that they were very good as well, but this is looking pretty good too. So what I like to get is, I like to get lettuce on the bottom, and then I get extra brown rice. I get extra fajitas, both beans, tomatoes, and then I get some more lettuce on the top. I also get a bag of chips, and I love their guac. And this vinaigrette that they have, oh my gosh, if you've never gotten some of their vinaigrette, you really need to try it. This has a, a little spicy vinegar taste to it. It's just so good. So eating the chips and guac and dipping it into my Chipotle, it is like my favorite, one of my favorite meals. And being vegan, it's really good with the sofritas. So I hope the chorizo is just as good as the sofritas. So I think the main difference with the sofritas is I think that's more of a tofu. I'm new to being a vegan, so I don't wanna give any information out that is not correct. So Chipotle started testing their new meat alternative in August, 2021. It was not here in Northeast Ohio, at least not to my knowledge that they had the chorizo here. So I had been eating the sofritas, you know, just kind of preparing myself for becoming a vegan. And I'm glad I did because the sofritas is really good. I actually was getting cheese though with my sofritas, but then I started to not get the cheese again to prepare myself for not having that cheese. Now, this is just for a limited time that they're having the chorizo. What are Chipotle's plant-based chorizo ingredients? Chipotle is proud to state that all of the plant-based chorizo's ingredients are certified vegan and are grown on a farm and not in a lab. Ingredients include ancho chili and chipotle peppers, ripe tomato paste, crushed garlic, Spanish smoked paprika, and extra virgin olive oil combined with a natural protein source from freshly grown peas. The plant-based chorizo contains no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives, and is made without grains, gluten, or soy. There's also 16 grams of protein in the chorizo, so that's really good. So that plus the beans, like I, I feel like that's a lot of protein, right? And I got brown rice too. Let's go ahead and taste it. And what I do is I just put mine on a plate because sometimes their bowls do get a little bit mushy and soggy. So, and I can never eat all of this in one setting. So typically I will split it in half and eat half today and eat the other half tomorrow. But for this video, <laughs> I'm gonna eat, I'm not gonna eat it all. I'm gonna eat as much as I can, how's that? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Get a good look. Looks like ground beef or something maybe? Sausage? That is what it looks like. That looks a lot different than the sofritas. Woo! <clears throat> it's spicy. <clears throat> That's probably the paprika. That is very, very spicy. Very spicy. Let me taste it mixed with some food. Mmm. 
looks really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. I get both beans. So tasting it with both beans plus with the extra fajitas, that's really good. The brown rice. Mmm. I gotta drink some water. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's spicy, but it's a good spice. Like it's not like too spicy, but it is spicy. Chipotle, this is good. I know you are only gonna have this for a limited time, but I really wish that you would consider having this all of the time. The spices is just really good. I'm wondering if next time I can get some of the chorizo and mix in a little bit of the sofritas. I don't know, I don't know, but this is really good. I like this much better than the sofritas. And I actually like the sofritas. This is really good. I wanna hurry up and end this video as soon as I can. But I just wanna check their website just to see if there's anything else on their website that I should read to you guys so that you know. Oh, I guess today if you ordered online, it was buy one, get one free. I didn't know that. A lot of coupon codes out here that um, is saying that, yeah, you can get buy one, get one free. I never get tired of Chipotle, to be honest. So I can eat this and eat this and eat this and eat this because it's just that good. But yeah, they're new plant-based chorizo the best chorizo ever 100 plant-based it's really good i'm gonna go ahead and try the chorizo with some chips and guac and see how that tastes so here's a chip this is how i love to eat my chipotle dip my chip into some guac take my fork and just smooth the guac on put some of the mixture on the chip so it looks like I got some rice, I have some chorizo, I have a green pepper, and let's go ahead and try it and see what it tastes like. Taste it with the guac. Oh, and there's a bean there too. Mm -mm. That's good. That is really good Chipotle. As always, let's have a conversation down below. How do you like Chipotle? When you go to Chipotle, what do you get? Do you get steak? Do you get chicken? Do you get sofritas? Do you want to try the new chorizo? Have you already tried the new chorizo? Are you interested in trying the new chorizo? It'd be nice to see if we can all comment down below, what does your bowl look like when you go to Chipotle? Or do you prefer to get the burrito? Do you like to get the chips and guac? <laughs> Let's have a conversation down below. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.